With SPS Statistics 24.0, Custom Tables module added a few groundbreaking features. Custom Tables is one of the most popular modules in SPS Statistics. For this demonstration, we are going to use the dataset EmployeeData.sav. To open Custom Tables dialog box, go to the Analyze menu, Tables, then Custom Tables. This is Custom Tables interface, so we will begin by building a quick table. We will drag and drop Educational Level to Rows axis and Employment Category to Columns axis. And let's start off by changing the test statistics from here. Click on Summary Statistics. So this is an additional feature in SPSS Custom Tables 24.0. SPSS has added more statistics for numeric variables. Previously, SPSS had about 47 test statistics that you could use with custom tables, and now it's about 167. The new additions are confident levels and standard error for statistics. For this demonstration purpose, instead of doing count, let us go to column percent and select column N percent. Let's click on apply to selection and close. Now we have column N percent. Now we want to compare these percentages to see if there are significant differences between them. So to do that, we will go to test statistics and then select compare column proportions. And now you can see a bunch of features added new to statistics 24.0. The first feature is that we have additional significance levels so that we can run two tests simultaneously and also you can now display the actual significance values in separate table. We can take a quick look at the table to see that in output. So this is our first table and here below is the significance table with actual significant differences. Now let's go back to the custom tables. Now SPSS has added an additional test for multiple comparisons that is the Benjamini Hochberg test for multiple comparisons, which is less conservative than Bonferroni. So we will select the Benjamini Hochberg option. Now we will see one of the biggest features added to custom tables. The first big enhancement is that you now have the ability to identify significant differences in the main table. In the previous versions, we only had second table or in the main table using APA style. So let's see how that looks in output. So here is a table and you can see that this table is with significant markers. If you double click the table to activate it and if you hover your mouse over each one of these markers and the cells containing them will get highlighted. It now makes it easier to read SPSS tables. And if you want to export these tables, you can make it more easier to read by right clicking going to select and choose select all cells with this significance key and then you can further format these cells like in previous versions by right clicking go to cell properties from there i can change the text color and the background color and now it's much easier to read it and this is also a new feature for custom tables Let's go through the last big feature for custom tables and that's on the options menu. SPSs have now added the effective base test statistics. Now you can use the effective base weight variable. This is more useful than the simple frequency weights. So that's it for all the new features in custom tables. Thank you.